Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Marketing Matters. I'm Sarah Touchstone, Landmark Titles, Assurance Agencies, Social Media, Marketing Strategist, and Educator. I'm joined today with Brandy from Bison Ventures. As I was saying, Brandy, she actually has a plethora of classes, so I was so excited to get her on today to share at least one of her topics. Love to have her back for more as well. But this topic, I think, is going to be really cool, really timely, and incredibly interesting for us all. Brandy is going to talk to us today about building your own personal app for your real estate. So, Brandy, welcome. You have screen sharing abilities, and I personally, and I'm sure with everybody else on, we cannot wait to learn more today. Okay. Hey. So um, yes, I'm going to talk to you today about um, building your own app. And let's see, help share my screen. All right, if it's going here for you. So I'm gonna kind of be toggling back and forth between the presentation that I'm going to do for you. And um, sorry, can you see the presentation there? It looks great. Okay. So I'm going to toggle a little bit back and forth between the slideshow and the internet because I want to do some live demo for everybody. And um, so we'll get started. Sarah, keep me on time because um, I probably could ramble on. And honestly, I'm a little bit obsessed with this. So Hopefully I can help share that with everybody and um, we can get going on what we really want to make sure our clients are experienced with, the, with us, that we kind of level up. Um, as we know, we're looking at uh, those Gen Z and millennials being our biggest audiences coming here and uh, they love their apps. And um, so this is hopefully something that'll be helpful for you. It's very simple. It doesn't require any coding uh, and it's really just internet based. So I'm gonna do kind of a high level overview because there's tons of customizations that you can do. And um, just wanna let you know that it's out there and available for you to kind of work on. So just quickly a little bit about me. Uh, my name is Brandy Pausek. I am with Bison Ventures and we are um, all about informed mortgage lending. We are Scottsdale based and we are powered by VIP Mortgage. So we are super local and um, we would love to help everybody in the Valley. Uh, well, statewide really, but we do have our licenses in most other states. So keep that in mind as well. I myself have been in the industry for over 20 years. Yes, I started when I was five. Just kidding. Um, but I have been in the business for over 20 years. I love it. Uh, I um, actually was just talking to my um, my marketing gal on our team, and um, I really am going to showcase kind of how my, uh, my background and my origin story really makes me uh, enjoy my work a lot. Um, so that will be coming soon. Uh, for me, the biggest things are education, communication, and efficiency for my clients and my partners. So a big thing right now is to make sure I educate uh, and that we communicate throughout the entire process. And we also make that an extremely efficient process uh, to make closing of escrow dates and that we aren't kind of all over the place. And this app is one of those things that I've kind of used uh, for efficiency on my home tour for now, although, like I said, I'm kind of obsessed, so I may be building apps for all kinds of things in my life moving forward, so. Um, and I want to know you to know that I am the financing arm of your real estate business team, so anything you need, I always make sure your reputation is of utmost importance, and I am a part of that for you. So today, we're going to be talking about mapping out your app first. And then we are going to look at my current example that I have for you for an app. And then we're going to be looking at the different templates that are available for you to build your app. Um, and then how to add elements and widgets and also how to add forms and sheets to that app if you need it. 
and then some other customizations that you can do as well to the app. Um, and so the first thing I wanted to talk about is how to map out your app. So you need to think about what you really want to have on that app forward facing for your client experience. So things like if you want to have listings, um, pictures of those listings, uh, ways to click into your MLS uh, scheduling, you can do all kinds of scheduling, whether that be for showings, for open houses, for inspections. It's really going to be up to you what kind of scheduling you'd like to have, if any, on there. Um, and then there's obviously education, or if you have a Instagram or a YouTube or something that you can link, you can add that to your app also for your clients. Uh, any events you may be doing or attending, or I know a lot of people use the Around the Valley weekend thing. You can actually direct people into your personalized app, and so they're not going to somebody else to see that kind of thing. And really anything else that you may want to add to your app, you just need to really think about that uh, because there's so much going on inside. You, you're, you can easily go down a rabbit hole and you want to make sure you kind of stay on track there. Um, if you need any forms or registration pages, the nice thing about the platform that I'm using, you do have the ability to build your own forms. They do have templates as well, but you can also integrate things like Google Sheets, uh, tables, calculators, things like that, you can integrate into your app and um, build it just the way you want to make sure your clients are, are directed where, where you need them to be. And then if there's any branding or aesthetic elements you want to include, like you can see our beautiful background here, we have wonderful templates. And so for me, it's making sure that my aesthetic for my app really matches my brand. So those are things to think about. So the platform we're going to be building on today is called JotForm, and it's just at JotForm.com. And I'll be going to the website live to show you kind of um, how we go through the, the app on just a high level. And um, you don't have to have any code building for this. So it's a little bit different, a little bit simpler than a, um, a full-blown website, but it's more along the lines of maybe like a link tree. And so for this, it is going to be internet-based. And so essentially, you're going to have a link. Uh, and when that link pops up, it'll it's ask the person who clicks on it if they want to put the icon on their home screen, uh, which I highly recommend everybody tell their clients to do, just so it is an app on their phone. Anytime they want, they can click on it right on their home screen. So the next thing I'm going to do is show you an example of the app. And the one that I've built to show you is a app that I have for my Moon Valley home tour. And um, this one is very, very simple, um, but I think it's a kind of a good building block to be able to show you um, what you can do as far as the different options available. So I am going to click over to um, my different screen here. Hold on one second, sorry. Brandy, I have a question. Yeah. Would you recommend um, going to this website on like your laptop or your desktop or doing it from your phone? Um, I, I found that if you go in to build your app, it's easier to do it on your computer because you just have more, more real estate to look at all the different things that you can build into your app. Um, so it's just essentially really the, the, the screen size so you can see it. But you do have the ability to preview the app on any, it, it usually will preview, so I can show you that. Uh, up here, if you go to this preview app, it'll show you what it's going to look like on each device. And so, um, you know, you can see it on a on a regular phone. If you turn it sideways, what it would look oh. like. You can see it what it would look like on a template on a on a tablet, and then also what it would look like on a desktop. So it's nice because you can edit this um, and then go and preview it for yourself. And the great thing too, is that these are real time changes. So if someone, if you gave someone your app and you need to update it, it's gonna populate the most recent information. So for example, like I have uh, the home tour date on here as tomorrow, 
And so I changed this. And when I uploaded and changed my image, it shows this one to anyone who goes into the app almost real time. Um, so as far as this example, I'm not going to go through it too crazy, but this is kind of what I, I built. And um, it's for a home tour specifically. So the couple of elements that we really needed on this one was just to communicate to our agents what the, what the date and time were. Um, we also have in here, if you want to put your house on tour, you have a form to register. And I'll talk a little bit about forms and um, how to build those. We have a tour boundary. So it's just a little map that shows what uh, the tour boundaries look like. And then we also, when we go on tour, we have a feedback form that we fill out live. And then once tour is over, the agents are sent by us their, um, their feedback on the house that they had on tour. Um, and then we also have contact information if you want to get a hold of us directly. Uh, Cynthia Lujan, actually from Landmark, is uh, co chair with me on this tour. And, um, and then just kind of all of our socials. Uh, there, there is a paid version of JotForm and there is a free per version. I have uh, the free version currently. So this is all stuff that you can do for free. Uh, and so when you do, it's going to show that JotForm at the bottom for, as far as branding. If you pay for it, then you would be able to remove that. And, um, you know, if you end up using the app a lot, that's probably a good way to go. Or if you build several uh, so like I said, I'm obsessed. I will probably be switching to a paid version very soon. Uh, I have a couple of apps in mind that I'm going to build. Uh, so that is, uh, the main parts of the app. And then I wanted to show you kind of, are, are there any questions? Sorry. I know I, I will, will slow down if anyone needs to, but I'm going to kind of get into the pieces a little bit here too. Yeah. Nothing yet, Brandy. You're good. Good. Okay, so um, the the first place that you can start is there are app templates in here already built. I would say I don't necessarily know that these are exactly what you might need and just be able to change everything, but they're kind of give you a good idea of things out there. So um, you know, if if you're if your customers are more, you're looking to maybe schedule things more for your customers, maybe a scheduling app. Um, I think there's inspections on here. But if you go into the menu, there are a couple of real estate apps uh, that you can kind of look through. Really, there's only one app that says it's a real estate app, kind of the rest are for home inspections and, and things like that. So, um, but you can peruse through these applications and it's not going to limit your customization. So if you find something that ish looks like what you like layout wise, it doesn't matter. It's not going to restrict you from what you can put in there as far as the information goes. It's just kind of a good a, a good base to start with. Or if you're tech savvy, you can you know kind of start from scratch too and and build your own. So um the next thing is once you pick your app that you would like to build from, you can go in. So I chose that real estate app, this first one here. And just an, as an example, this is kind of what it uh, was looking like. Um, you can also add pages. So I think there's a buyer and a seller page here. Uh, you can do that too. If you wanna add maybe like a scheduling or an inspection page separately, you can do that or you can just have them where they, they scroll through everything all on one page. So it kind of shows you what's going on here. Um, and then you can add different elements and widgets. So, there, and again, sky's the limit here. So there's forms that you can add, you can add documents, images, uh, a button like this call seller is a button. Um, if you have payment kind of information, there's a, a, a way to add payment information. You can add image galleries. If you have images of your listings that you'd want to put in here, you can do that. Or a slider, a video maps of where the property is or properties are. And then you can also do um, tables. And then there's some things that you can also put in here to kind of on the back side of making sure to track your information and get it to you. So I'll show you a little bit about that as well. Um, 
And then basically you can add these elements in wherever you'd like to see them. So let's see, if we do a document, we can add it in here anywhere we'd like. Um, and then you can go into properties here, find your file, drag and drop it in, and it'll put it in for you. You can shrink it so it's just on one side and have maybe something else next to it and um, just kind of customize yourself here. Um, and then there's widgets and widgets are kind of more like embedded things um, out there. So almost like an app within an app. Um, and there's all kinds of things in here. So if you wanted to add like a Facebook like box, um, you can go in here and link your Facebook to it and have people directed to, to, to fill that out for you, something like that. Um, QR codes are really big right now too, although it's a little strange to have a QR code on a, on a, <laughs> on a phone already. You can't really take a picture of it. So, um, but all, just all kinds of different, um, applications here that you can use. If you want to link somebody to directly message or call you, you'd be able to do that here. Um, so all kinds of different widgets and elements that you can add to your application. Brandy, we did have a question. And I have a feeling that you'll probably cover this after we go through the building. Sure. Um, it was about how to install the apps on the iPhone or an Android. Okay. Yeah. So basically it is a, it's basically an internet link. So you can give it to your customers however you want. If you send it in a text um, or an email, they can click on it just like an internet link. And when they do that on their phone or their device, it's going to, even on their computer, it's going to ask them if they want to add the application to their home screen. And once they say yes, then it'll put that little app icon on their home screen for you, for them. So, um, and we can, we, I can show you how to do that even yourself so you can check it to make sure it works. So I will do that also. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you was adding custom forms and sheets. And so um, I have on my app, I have, this is a JotForm custom uh, form that I did. And so you can actually look at it right on your app too, and you can open it up. And so this for me is a registration form. So I have built it and, and they have all kinds of, again, different templates that you can add in. You can add form elements here, name, phone number, address, all of those different things. You can make them be required or not to be filled out. Um, and then you can change, you know, what your wording and whatnot is to explain what's going on. And then um, all the pertinent information that you want. So for example, since this is a home tour, um, you're gonna see uh, obviously contact information. If there's any gate codes or whatever, you can put that in here, uh, your MLS link, and then you can put in the MLS detail sheet for us so that we can pass that along to the agents and put it in our app. And I'll show you where that is too. And then they hit register. And when you hit register, they are going to, um, I, I'm gonna get an email and it's gonna tell me that somebody registered their house. And um, there are ways to do that on this settings page so that you can make sure that um, when somebody does put in a, a registration that you get an email. And if you need to take action, then you'll be able to do that within um, JotForm. So for example, on my, um, on my app, I have you can put in a thank you page. It'll send them a confirmation that we received your submission. And um, if you have any integrations that you want to put in here. So for example, if someone does fill out that information, you can have it go into a Google Sheet if that's your CRM. Or if your CRM is available here, they do have Zapier, which a lot of CRMs are linked through. And so you can have that contact information go into your CRM and then do whatever you do in your CRM with dripping on those clients and following up. Um, 
And then you have uh, approval flows. This is where we can go in and either approve or deny a registration if needed or make another comment. You can have things to be signed. Obviously, check with your broker if you'd be able to do that. And then you can set up mobile notifications as well for when a submission is received. And then you click on publish and it'll give you the link. Even if you, so even if you didn't want to use the app necessarily for something and you just wanted to send a form like to register, it'll give you an, uh, a link so that you can send that like directly by email or text and they don't have to go into the app to do that, which is really nice because you still have those links available. And um, and then you can add that to your, your application, which we have done here. Um, and then you can give it properties. So this is where you can go into like the style, the color, where you want it on your page, add little icons, um, lots of rabbit holes. <laughs> um, so that's kind of the registration form. This one I built directly into my application from JotForm. That's actually how I found out I could do the app was building this form within JotForms. The, the free version allows you to create five different forms. If you want more than that, then you would do a paid version. And again, you can upload or you can update this form yourself and anytime you update it, it's going to flow through to your app. Um, the next thing I have just as a form, this is actually a Google Sheet that I made. And um, this one is when we actually go on tour. This is our feedback forms. And so uh, we make sure we get everybody's email. So when they do give feedback, we can send it to the listing agents. Um, and then we have a graphic. We have uh, the MLS sheets that we made them upload when they registered their home so that everybody can have that information. And then we have some questions here about each home. And this, this is somewhat anonymous. We can make sure that we email the results anonymously so that uh, you know there's no, there's no um, knowing who, who shared it. But it comes out in a nice, um, if you've ever seen Google Sheets and how they kind of display the information, it's kind of really cool. So you can integrate stuff like Google Sheets on here. And then you just um, hit submit. It'll send us the response. And you can have a response of your own here. Again, this is a, a Google Sheet thing. So like a whole other class <laughs> for you there. Um, so that's kind of how my app example works. There are other customizations that you can do. So like I said, contact information, your social medias here. Um, you also can change the settings of how your app looks. And so um, let's see, you can name your app. So when someone puts it on their phone, it's going to show that little icon and show you, uh, you know, what it looks like. So here it's, it looks like the little Moon Valley tour here. We used our um, icon graphic that we had. And then also when you load the app uh, up on your phone, when you push the app, this is kind of the, the screen that comes up before it takes you to into the actual app screen. And then you can publish it. And like I said, uh, you have a link here so you can introduce folks to the uh, app by giving them the link either by text or email, and um, which is really great. Or you can invite them directly through the email. And then you can also get this QR code here where you can have them take a picture of that on their phone. And again, it will uh, automatically take them to the link that they need. Um, and you can embed the code as well if you'd like into any other website that you might have. Um, Brandy, we do have a question about your tour participants. Have they embraced this technology or are they still asking for hard copy packets? So we just tried it at our last um, meeting and it went really, really well. Everybody embraced it. We didn't give them the choice whether they had the or the app. Um, so everybody really enjoyed it. It's very, it was very simple and easy to use for this application. Um, 
at a home and really, you know, you can click through, you don't have to find a pen, you don't, you know, you're in a car, you don't have to write everything down. So the form is really nice for them to be able to fill out. And then it's awesome to be able to share that information too. And we don't have to do a lot of back end work ourselves. So um, we, do, we really do like that. Uh, it's it's really all electronic and we can share the information very quickly after tour. So um, everybody seemed to have a lot of fun with it. Right. I mean, at this point, everybody does almost everything on their phones. Yeah. So, you know, the realtors are showing up with phones. You know that they're doing, you know, 75% of their business already from their phone. Like, it's not a big ask to, you know, have them do something like this on their phone as well. And I think it's easier to get that information in real time. You know, if you click through this form and you, um, you know, you submit the information. And the nice thing about this form, even though it's getting a little into Google Sheets, it'll, it'll keep your place. So you don't have to worry about having to redo all the information. It should keep your place if you kind of, you know, stop, um, especially if you go on to maybe the next house or whatever. So that's kind of nice and just kind of a separate thing as far as um, Google Sheets goes. Um, so if anyone has any questions, I'm going to switch my screen back over um, to this main one. And um, really, that's it. There's there's a ton that I didn't go through, but I want to make sure that I kind of stay on track. That was great. Like, I am so excited. I mean, I'm, I'm already like, you know, my wheels are spinning. I'm like, oh, I think Marketing Matters needs an app now. <laughs> right? I mean, I even thought about doing one for my, uh, we, I have an eighth grader next year. We have lots of events around graduation. So I think that my parents might be super excited about not having, you know, we all are getting extremely bombarded by email. And if you want to make sure that you're not missing an email, especially when you're in the middle of a transaction, you're getting emails from title and your lender and your realtor and your inspector. And so it's nice to be able to give them this one place they can go if they need to look at that information. Um, so I know that for parents, it's it's a big deal too to try to find an email for sports or whatever. And it's easier with an app. Yeah, it's funny. You touch, you just nailed this next question right on the head. I don't know if you saw it or it oh, just was that timely. Donna just had the exact question about um, using it for specific transactions because of the buyers feeling overwhelmed with the emails. Um, and, and so, yeah, I mean, it sounds like you could absolutely do this, Donna, for each transaction. Yeah, I think it's great for realtors. As far as lenders go, we wouldn't be able to do it necessarily on an app just for compliance purposes and, and disclosures and whatnot. But um, it's definitely nice to be able to give it to our realtors and and um, whatever they need to do as far as scheduling inspections or having things signed or whatever, it might be a great tool. Oh, I can imagine, you know, if you could go in and update, I mean, already your clients would could have, you know, this app on their phone. They know that everything that is going on is right there at the touch of a button. And then, you know, as the realtor or for us on the title side, being able to go in there and constantly update it mm -hmm. to the point where we could just literally call them and be like, check your app. Yeah, totally. <laughs> go check it. There's something you need in there. Yeah. yeah, if you set your notifications, you definitely can do that. Yes, well, I think the sky's the limits with this. This is really really cool. I'm so glad you guys were all on today. Um, if you guys have any other questions, please let us know. Brandy's information is obviously right here in this beautiful QR code. So if you want to reach out um, and get some more information about the app or any of the amazing things that she and her team does at Bison Ventures, um, please grab her contact, reach out, we are going to go ahead and wrap up today with a couple of other classes that we have coming up. And of course, if you guys have any other questions that you think about um, while I'm going through these classes, go ahead, put them up in there. All right. We do have 
Speaking of homes and tours, we have a broker open coming up. Uh, this is going to be next Thursday, May 18th. This is over at uh, off Union Hills Drive in Glendale. Patty and Michael are hosting this. Guys, this is a five bedroom, right? Three and a half bath. So if you have clients that are looking for something like this, go check it out. It's going to be on Thursday, May 18th from 4 to 7 p.m. It's a very specific client, but if you've got somebody that's looking for a five bedroom in Glendale, check it out. Um, and then we've got a chat GPT and Canva magic class. I've been doing quite a few of these. I really enjoy uh, these new features. Congress met with the inventors of chat GPT yesterday to talk about regulations. Nothing else has been rolled out yet. So we're going to get this class in before they tell us what we can and we cannot do on June 15th. This is going to be over at the Keller Williams Goodyear location, but this is open to all agents from any brokerage. This is a great space uh, to utilize, plenty of room. This is going to be from 10 a.m. until noon. So if you're interested in learning about a little bit more about how these AI features can really uh, enhance your business, come on out for that. Please RSVP to either myself, Patty, or Michael, um, and we'll get you guys signed up. And then for our Prescott agents or anybody who wants to travel up north, uh, we've got another Here Comes the Judge coming up June 15th, August 17th, on and October 26th. Um, it's going to be from about 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. If you are interested, reach out to Michelle. She can get you signed up and let you know the actual location for that June 15th one. And then also up in Prescott, they are starting up their Whiskey Road Tours again in July. So July and September are the next two, July 27th and September 21st. I talk a lot about these because they are amazing events. I've had the pleasure of making it up there for one. Um, so even if you're in the Phoenix area and you want to take, you know, a half a day and go up to Prescott, uh, these are really great uh, tours to go on. And then I think that's it for us today, guys. Um, thanks, Brandy. This was really so cool. I know I'm chomping at the bit. I already pulled, I, I put in uh, the uh, jot forms on my phone just so I would have it. I know what I'm spending some of the rest of my week doing now, which is great. I love it when we have um, topics on here that we want to go and just immediately sit down and start doing. Yeah. Uh, if you guys need a copy of this presentation, if you want to go back over some of the things that we talked about, because, you know, we crammed a lot into a short amount of time. Um, just reach out to your business development manager. You can get this as well as any other copies and maybe in the future an app for Marketing Matters uh, from either Beth, Becky, Melinda, Mary, Patty, Cynthia, Michelle, Michael, or Renee. They are your team for all things marketing here at Landmark Title. And then, of course, Thank you to Landmark Title for allowing us to bring you Marketing Matters, amazing topics, and great speakers like Brandy every Wednesday at 10 a.m. We also have seven offices in the Valley to service all of your real estate title and escrow needs, as well as one up in Prescott and two up in Nevada. So that's it for us today, guys. I can't wait to hear all the feedback on the amazing apps that you guys build. <laughs> and of course, Brandy, thank you. This was a great topic and I'd love to have you back to cover some of the other ones that you do. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. Bye guys. Have a wonderful week. Bye.